Hello and welcome to this video on using multiple objects uh, with classes that contain a method. What we have here is exactly the same kind of class definition <clears throat> that we had before in the previous video. Uh, we've got our, our, our different uh, uh, things here which are, of course are the are the different properties. We have three properties and then we have a method and this method of course is show it just like we did before. What's different is that we're now creating two objects. My monster, okay, and we're also creating your monster and both of them are of the same class, monster class. So we can input information about my monster name, my monster age, my monster race, and then your monster name is Alice, your monster age is 102, and your monster race is a gnome. So now I can have my monster show it, that uses this method show it up here, and I can also have your monster show it, which uses the same method again. And again, showing the power of using classes uh, in, uh, with object-oriented programming, or the power of object-oriented programming, which includes the use of classes. So what I can do now is let's go ahead and let me compile this, see what the output looks like. And I've got Fred 14 in the dunks, and it says press any key to continue. Well, what's going on here? Well, I have my monster dot show it, and look at there. It doesn't have a system pause built into it. It sure does. So let me press the key and see what happens. So I press the key, and now it uses show it again. But this time, it does it for the name, age, and race of the second object, which is your monster. And it goes up here and says, okay, the name of your monster was this, the age of your monster was this, and the race of your monster was this. And again, I'm going to do a system pause. So I'm going to head and press the space bar, and there I am. So hopefully this is a reinforcement of the power of classes uh, in, in that you can use methods, and we will find we can have many, many methods. Theoretically, there's no limit to the number of many programs uh, uh, that you can have uh, or, or the properties that you can have for a class. And, and then you can create objects of that class, and you can just go crazy. It's really, really, I think it's just really the coolest thing since uh, the beginning of uh, Frisbee's if that's been cool. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video.